Hi guys, this is Jen Chen, and welcome to a new day with a new episode. As you can see, my setup is different, just so y'all can see what I'm going to be looking at. Okay, so today we are doing a video on, sorry, top five, in my opinion, top five, um, gifts, like gifts for kids. Remember, it's just my opinion. I know it might not, it might not be what you like, but it's just me. Okay, now let's get sharing to the screen. What, what? Okay, Minecraft, sorry, Minecraft lovers. I love Minecraft. I don't know if you love Minecraft, but I love Minecraft. And for all you Minecraft lovers out there, I hope I have two, two options in this video just for y'all to pick out. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I got out. All right. It wouldn't let me get out. I was trapped. Where is it? Sorry, technical difficulties. Never done this before. So, we're really just going over one thing right now. I'll show you the other one at the end of the video, though. This is the Lego Minecraft Creeper Mine 21155 Building Kit 834 Pieces. Whole title. So, it looks like we have a cool item here. Um, It's the Lego Minecraft Creeper mine two one one five five building kit um for seventy five seventy six guys that is insane that is crazy but let's just go ahead and look at it oh it looks super neat okay oh look cactus right there cactus oh so neat okay so it looks like it has like um Alex right there, we have Steve right there, we have a furnace, we have a husk, we have TNT, we have a creeper, and we also have a cow. I mean, how insane is all this? A diamond pickaxe. Let me touch it. Okay, fine, I won't touch it. Now, let's read one of the comments. You know, see what people think of it. Again, I need to find the comments. I brought all, um, no, it's too long. Super cool, comes broke down into separate packages for easy building. Definitely more advanced. My nine-year-old is doing pretty decent getting it together on his own, but needed some help. He also commented on how it comes with the cool guys. He, mean, he means the default skins. From Minecraft, if that helps anyone. So, it's just cute and all. Oh, and we got some pictures. Super cool. I think that was a pretty cute comment. So that's why I chose it. Now, let's look at all the preteen girls. Woo! This is for all you preteen girls out there. I know I only have I only have one suggestion, but one suggestion can go a long way with all y'all. Got 
guys, I probably should open more tab tabs for all these. I mean, Alright, so we have another super duper cool one. It's called the Easy Ink Freehand Ink Premium Quality Temporary Tattoo Ink. Full kit, natural and long lasting. No added chemicals. Black and dark blue. So that's the main point there. It looks like it's a half an ounce, 0.5 ounces. Take it like away, Ginger. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let's take a look. Wow. Looks like people are have done some really cool stuff here. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. They say you gotta know how to draw. I would definitely think so, because it looks like those people kind of freehanded it, huh? Yeah. But it also comes with a stencil solution, so you can make your own stencil. So let's see, what are the steps? You draw your tattoo, obviously. You wash it, let it dry on your skin for two hours. Then wash it well, using soap and water. I mean, it could have, like, put that in the middle, like, wait two hours. Mm -hmm. Get excited. It'll look pale at first and gradually begin to darken within 24 to 48 hours a day to two days it'll reach its full darkness show off your fab tattoo shall last about 8 to 15 days it's waterproof so you can shower with that without any problems she ignored me she interrupted me Okay, so it looks like there is some both positive and, and negative. Negatives. So let's take a look. <laughs> some negative results. Oh, someone had an allergic reaction. Yeah, so like you got to make sure that you test a small area at first. This one definitely looks like it was significantly more productive. Yeah. Day one. Day two, day two, before washing it off. Day eight, day six. six. Okay. Wow, after six days, that's still pretty good. Yeah. Day three. Huh? 30 minutes after washing. Be was old. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you wanted time to be able to look at some other. Wow, that's impressive. They do like their hand and their toe, and it looks like it's a hand and a hand. Yeah, I bet they've done this before. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think those that person definitely already did it before. Easy to use, but highly messy. <laughs> oh, yeah, because one of the people said that it's really thick, so it's hard to bring it out in on clumps. Mm, gotcha. Did you want to look at some more? Let's look at some some for D and D. We got you, D and D kids. I put it over here so I didn't wasn't looking to the side. Oh, your D and D. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Marmar's coming in and making a mess of things <laughs> and making me not look straight. You know, gotta mix it up. I'm currently looking at me, so. Where are we at? We're all the way right there. Oh, so perfect. Much. All right, take it away. I don't want to keep messing Thank up. you. <laughs> Finally. Hey, now. I put it right in. All right, so we got the five minute dungeon fun card game for kids and adults. Woo! For $17.15. Seems like good. Seems good, especially for like five, five minutes. Seems like for five bucks. Wow. No, five minutes. Five minutes, five bucks. <laughs> Not five bucks. I know. So let's, it has, it looks like, Hey, I'm 
trying to see all this. Okay, so it definitely is a card game. Oh, and it looks super neat, like you have all these different things. It, it, it looks kind of confusing, though. It looks like it's going to take a, a, some, definitely some, like, learning. Yeah, definitely some learning. Oh, so it looks like you can be um, different, like, people like this one's that, this one's that, this one's that, and you're a thief. Is it a cooperative game or a competitive game? I don't know. Let's try and find that. Seven unhelpful dwarves. And you, the door, wizard of ooh. A boo boo. <laughs> that's some great artwork. Yeah, but I think that's really funny how they were like, you got a little boo boo. And it's like all these arrows stabbing into you. Okay, so it, tap into your battle instincts and use and you and use quick judgment to determine how to defeat monsters, obstacles, and dungeon bosses. There's the answer to my question. Play, Play this, this chaotic cooperative. Hard word to say. Cooperative. <laughs> cooperative. Cooperative. So that means Not if you win, we all win. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Working together. Cooperative. 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 Okay, let's move on. Okay. A working together game. Yeah. A, a nice Gen Gen and Marmor game. Yeah. Some great graphics. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to show you something, Marmor. So. Ah. You can click on it. Make it bigger. Oh. Ew! A shortcut. Uh huh. I know what those air quotes mean. <laughs> it says shortcut free candy. No, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fall for that. Not this time. <laughs> and last but not least, we got dragon peeps. For all you Dragon fans out there, I want you to take a dive, or should I say, a fly, into this cool figure I think you might like. It's kind of small. It's not as extravagant as the rest of all these, but it's pretty cute, I do have to say. So if you haven't heard about I don't know if it's new or not, but this show called Dragon Prince, it's a really good show, and this is one of the characters from it, and he's a dragon, the prince of the dragons, and I thought this was good for y'all, you type of people. So... This is a Funko Pop, never really heard of one, never really saw, seen one, and don't even have one. I know, I'm missing out, all you Funko Pop kids. Missing out, Jen Jen here. <laughs> um, and it is, that is a address. It does not say how much money it is. I will tell you, the reviews said it had really great detail, that it was super cute, smaller than most Funko, um, Funko items, but had The Funko detail. people? Yeah. So yeah, because, like, they're people. Marma read the reviews already, and it said that this particular Funko pop guy was a little bit smaller than a lot of the other figurines. I mean, their figurines are small anyway, yeah. but this one was a little bit smaller. Because but he what is it, a baby dragon. But what it lacks in size, it made up for in detail. Big detail. This looks so amazingly adorable and cute. So, I just gotta put that out there. And it doesn't say how much money it is, but... Under $10. Under $10. And it seems like it's super cool. That's why it's also in the top five kid presents. Thank you so, so.
so much for watching and thank you and I really appreciate it. And Marmar's giving me the evil stare, telling me to wrap it up. Ah! Well, you heard the lady. This is Jen Chen signing off. See ya! Now we.